Wait, 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 wait. Is that Dane DeHaan? Oh man, this should be really good. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the latest Quibi show reviews. Now let's get into the review. Please. Hey, what, uh, what happened? My passenger from tonight, he pulled a knife on me. He attacked me. If he finds me, he will kill me. What is that? That's footage from inside of my house. Here's looking at you, Claire. Smile. You're on candid camera. We gotta go. Do you wanna know this story ends? I will break you. The police come out now. The Stranger was released on Quibi April 13, 2020. It stars Dane DeHaan and Micah Monroe. Quibi describes The Stranger the best by saying it's a story about a rideshare driver thrown into her worst nightmare as she picks up a mysterious passenger. Her terrifying ride with The Stranger unfolds over 12 hours as she navigates the streets of LA in a chilling game of cat and mouse. If you really have to compare the show to a movie, it's most like Collateral with Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise, except the passenger is a psychopathic serial killer. I really hope Dane DeHaan doesn't get typecast, but he is such a great villain. The pacing of his voice and the tones that he uses creates this dangerous, creepy atmosphere that is a sight to see. Another standout for me, no surprise, is Micah Moreau from It Follows. She carries over her persona from It Follows over to The Stranger, which is not necessarily a bad thing because she's placed in an almost identical situation. In It Follows, she's being chased by something. In The Stranger, she's chased by someone. Kudos to writer and director Vina Sood, best known for her work in The Killing, and bringing her talents over to this show and exhibiting her excellent writing and directorial skills. Vina has created a solid 13-episode crime thriller that is an adrenaline-pumping fun ride until the very end. I love the setting of the story and how we follow our main characters through the streets of LA over a 12-hour period. I also love how gritty and grainy the cinematography looks. I give The Stranger a solid 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 only because I thought the ending of the show was a little bit weak, but still a solid crime thriller. I recommend this show to anyone that are fans of Dane DeHaan and Micah Monroe and love the movies It Follows and Collateral. If you're not a fan of crime thrillers and you're not fond of It Follows or the movie Collateral, then I would say you should skip this one. What did you guys think about The Stranger? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So, you like Quibi Show reviews? Why not check out the Movie Complex Quibi Show playlist to watch more videos? Still want more? Why don't you check out our sister channel, So About Yesterday, where Clifton has some awesome reviews. If you haven't seen the intro, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified on new content. When do I post new content? Every Saturday. I'm a big fan of horror, and next week I'm diving into the horror anthology, 50 States of Fright. See you there. This is Movie Complex, your place for bite-sized Quibi reviews.